West Africa includes the countries between the Sahara and the equator and between North Central Africa and the Atlantic coast, plus the island cluster of Cape Verde. This region is mostly plain, with some high plateaus inland and lowlands along the coast. The Niger is the region's major river. It begins in Guinea and flows in a loop through the region before emptying into the Atlantic in Nigeria. The northernmost countries of West Africa are dominated by the Sahara and a belt of semi-arid grasslands called the Sahel. Livestock farmers depend on the Sahel for grazing land. But overgrazing through the years has severely taxed the Sahel. Much of the fertile topsoil has been lost and desert is beginning to take over. Droughts are a frequent problem as well, leading to economic hardship and even famine. South of the Sahel are tropical grasslands called savannas. Though the climate is still hot, savannas receive enough rain to support tall grasses and scattered trees. Here farmers can grow grain and raise cattle. South of the savannas, the climate is more tropical and the land more heavily forested. Close to the equator are tropical rainforests. More fertile farmland and more temperate climates are the reason the majority of West Africans live in the savanna and forested regions. Nigeria is the most populous country in all of Africa, with about 250 ethnic groups calling it home. Farmers here grow cash crops like cacao, peanuts, and rubber. Nigeria is also a major source of oil and natural gas. In Ghana, the enormous Lake Volta and the Volta River provide hydroelectric power to urban areas. Ghana is named after the medieval trading empire that rose to power by controlling the trade of gold between West and North Africa. Today, gold is still Ghana's most important mineral. Timber is another important resource. For the countries clustered along the Atlantic coastline, fishing is a major way of life. Although much of West Africa is dominated by the harsh Sahara Desert and Sahel, the savanna and tropical rainforest provide more temperate living alternatives for the people of this region. Another great advantage of West Africa is the abundant natural resources. It is no surprise that parts of this region are the most populated on the continent. How does the climate of West Africa affect the people living there? What natural resources are important to the countries of West Africa?